The world's first flight to collect and share data with countries along its flight path touched down today at Singapore's Changi Airport. It's part of a multinational project to make international air traffic more efficient and sustainable. Marcus Town reports on how this could transform air traffic management. It might look like a collection of wires and displays, but this air traffic control system is more than just that. It utilizes a system known as Multi-Regional Trajectory-Based Operations, or MRTBO, to collect and share information like weather and airport traffic in real time and ahead of time. Pilots say it gives them more awareness over flight conditions and how their requests affect the wider air traffic system. A request that I might make to optimize my flight might actually be disruptive to the rest of the system. But with MRTBO, I can watch as that request is being processed, or the air, air traffic controller can make a trial request, and collaboratively, together, we can see how that change might affect the whole system. The collaboration is between the air navigation service providers of Singapore, Japan, Thailand, and the United States. The system gathers data from their respective airspaces and shares it among all countries on the flight path. The demo runs so far cover four flights across the four countries. The Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore says it helps make the flight more sustainable and efficient. If a flight could take a more direct or quicker route and avoid delays and detours, not only do passengers benefit by being able to get to their destination earlier, you know, airlines save on operating costs, we will also be able to cut fuel burn and save the environment. CAAS says that this collaboration becomes all the more important as more countries invest in airport infrastructure to meet rising travel demands. It's also in line with the International Civil Aviation Organization's goal of net zero carbon by 2050. This project has been three years in the making between Singapore and its partners. It started off as a lab simulation before culminating in this proof of concept flight. And now that they know it's possible, the next step is to make it happen across multiple flights. CAAS says the hope is to get more countries on board. And by doing that, efforts to set international rules and standards for sharing data and managing cross-border air traffic can take off.